Ari Abbott entering the ring for a, a very strange scenario here tonight. As we mentioned at the top of the broadcast, Ari Abbott and DK Meadows originally slated to face Jordan Oliver and Ellis Taylor. Introducing his opponents. In the first round of the Dojo Wars Tag Team Championship Tournament, Jordan Oliver has uh, other duties defending the Wired title elsewhere. Where's Will Turner? Will Turner's not here, Ellis. But tonight has agreed to let this matchup continue as a singles matchup. DK Meadows will not receive clearance to wrestle after a small minor injury in training until tomorrow night when he looks to meet Dominic De Niro one on one. So the fate of Ari Abbott and DK Meadows as well as the uh, suburban saviors, or excuse me, the front seat boys. Very easy to get the uh, young, dumb, and broke groups mixed up and uh, a lot of tense moments here as Ellis Taylor does a tightrope walk with a little bit of an assist. Tag Team Championship first round matchup being conducted as a singles match here tonight. It is. No DK, no Jordan Oliver. Last time I was in a tournament, I won it, and I didn't get my money. Oh. I mean, that's what happens when you don't cash it in time. And I still won it. Introducing first, to my right, from Shootersville, he is the sardonic shooter, Ari Abbott. It's a check that expired approximately 90 and days ago. Opponent. To my left, representing Young Dumb and Broke, he is Hellboy Ellis Taylor. You know, let's talk about some interesting facts about Ellis Taylor in recent weeks. We saw last week him and Griffin McCoy were talking about being on strike. Just a week removed from his loss to the psychedelic psychonaut Christian Robinson. You got to feel like maybe that, that strike was tied to a, a couple of uh, recent letdowns for Hellboy Ellis Taylor. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if you heard the bit of fake news where he said no one's beaten him. I could have sworn Christian Robinson just beat him. Yeah, and I feel like that strike last week may have been uh, caused in part by that recent string of losses by some of those members of Young, Dumb and Broke. Abbott quickly working into an ankle lock. Not, again, I'm offended. He wouldn't let me hold his check. And a kick pat, or perhaps preventing the ankle or, of Ellis Taylor from being locked in position for that ankle lock. Ooh, grabbing the shoulder. Now driving Ellis Taylor to the canvas is Ari Abbott. You know, Ari Abbott just last week challenged for the Medal of Valor himself. He was having a string of victories. Unfortunately, ran into a, a brick wall that is Aaron Ash. <laughs> it's more than a brick wall. That matchup, uh, if you haven't seen it yet, go back and watch it. A phenomenal showcase of two young, up and coming talents here in professional wrestling. Ari Abbott and Aaron Ash, we've seen them go at it before, but the emotion that Ari brought to the table in that matchup yeah. was uh, particularly of note. Yeah, I'm, I'm shocked he's actually walking. Not so many people, you know, walk straight after a match with Aaron Ash. Ellis Taylor taking some time to collect himself. At least we know, to, uh, whew, I was gonna pull her two in a casserole, but. Doing everything in his uh, power to test the patience of a uh, junior official, Tori Castillo, in this contest. Who? Ellis Taylor. Uh, testing the patience of uh, Tori. Else. Who? I don't know how. We're not Abbott and Costello here. Ari Abbott went for a whip and uh, Ellis oh. Taylor just decided to get the heck out of Dodge. And uh, I was going to make a really funny joke that I thought was witty, but half the crowd beat me to it. Yeah, sorry. Abbott threw the uh, check to the floor and the uh, check just bounced. Waka waka. Well, honestly, I would feel bad, but he would not let me touch it, so. Is, I think that check's expired, by the way. Yeah, the check's long expired. Why is, I would ask why he's still walking around with it, but they are dumb, so. 
Yeah, we, we are told that uh, Ellis Taylor was asked when he went to go cash the check at a bank uh, to create a bank account, and he couldn't provide a birth certificate or an ID. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that tickled me a bit. Does anyone from Young Dummy Broke have an ID? Probably fake ones. Yeah, that sounds about right. Big this ankle Ari picker. Abbott, he's like a spider Abbott. monkey. He just does not let go. Yeah, he's trying to take uh, Ellis Taylor off balance here. Oh, my God. A huge chop right to the chest of Ari Abbott. Oh, wow. Look at that. A very big and uh, bird-like target. You call him a bird. He's got, that, he's got that very refined young man's chest. Oh, he's got a little baby chest. But Ari's been working on his body, trying to become a, a far more competent and powerful professional athlete, not just known yeah. for his uh, pure athleticism and his smart jujitsu <laughs> and judo background. Yeah, poor guy needs some chicken. Oh, oh, oh! And there you go again, Ari, always a half a step ahead of pretty much everyone he's in the ring with, shoves Ellis Taylor off the top. But Ellis saw Ari trying to go for that step up elbow, kick the ropes right out from underneath them. Yeah, I've got this to say, the kudos to Ellis. He clearly has studied Ari's matches. And just like that, though, the pace of this matchup has sped up. The, the impact of these maneuvers has changed. We went from having a very impressive showing of kind of some chain wrestling to more of a kind of catch-as-catch-can style here. Yeah. And Ari Ellis Abbott, Taylor is taking control you. here, Theo. Not for long, as we've seen with Ari Abbott. He can pretty much, he has a hold of reversal for everything. Look at that. What, what is this? The double chicken wings. What? Rolling on right earth through. Is that? Taylor's head is tucked right underneath. Both men back up to their feet. Taylor again, though, using that size advantage. You've got a bit of Bearing a, a knee right to the too. chest and stomach of Ari Abbott. Big suplex. Look at the chest of Abbott. Yeah, Ari Abbott is uh, definitely feeling the uh, war of attrition here in this matchup. Oh, very disrespectful Chris Jericho style cover by Hellboy Ellis Taylor. Makes me want a little bit of the bubbly. Have we got bubbly here? No bubbly, okay. Uh, by, uh, by law of New Jersey, no we do not. What law is that? Taylor, though. That's a stupid law. Uh, don't disagree at all. Big step up into Geary by Ellis Taylor. You know, the one thing that is, is, is very important, though, Theo, is that uh, Ellis Taylor is not entirely incorrect. Perhaps outside of Jordan Oliver, DK Meadows, and Aaron Ash, Ellis Taylor is the most decorated competitor in 2019 here at Dojo Wars. Is he? he what championship has he won? He won the Tournament of Valor this past April. Championship, mate. Challenge for the CZW World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, something that's only been on the line here at the Dojo a handful of times. Oh, so he challenged and didn't win, correct? I mean, in Ellis Taylor's mind, the only reason he didn't win that matchup is Key Min cashed in his ultimate opportunity. It was Key Min who took that punt kick right to the teeth by John Silver. Oh, and it was wow. Key Min who lost that matchup, not Ellis Taylor. Well, like I say, you call him decorated. What championships has he won? I'll wait. I mean, there was a check, as I mentioned, for that $5,000, but right yeah, now, no there is a chance here for Ellis Taylor to perhaps punch his ticket to the round robin round of the Dojo Wars Tag Team Championship Tournament. The winner, the winning team in this bracket, oddly enough, was uh, set to be in the same uh, round robin section as you there, Theo, if you were to win tomorrow. If, you mean when. Use your proper words. Already in, already qualified of those two other teams in the four-team block are going to be Karen Bam Bam, Nevaeh Chantel, and Adrian Santos, and uh, Greg Jones. Uh, Big hit block take over there by Ari Abbott. Go no, he didn't let go at all. That. Grab onto the limb. Taylor's close to the Pulling right though. in that arm bar, but again, the rolling through Taylor just had the length, got right into the ropes to break the hold. 
Uh -oh. Taylor trying to collect himself. Now we get a big step up, elbow drop by Ari Abbott that going looked, to the sky. Oh, that did not look nice. You could see how much the last couple of weeks have started to affect the psyche of this young man just days shy of his 17th birthday. Ari turned 17 just oh. earlier this week. Dropped Ellis Taylor there. Cover one, two, but only a two count. You know, Ari Abbott used to say that he is no longer a risk taker, no longer a person who's going to put his oh, body at risk. He's wow, going to grind his opponent down, use submissions, and make everyone tap. But we just saw there again is what happened with Key Min affecting Ari Abbott mentally. Yes, it is. I had him and DK Meadows on tea time. First of all, they said not a word. DK clearly did not want to be there. Kicked me in the face. May I add? Had some technical difficulties on that video, if I recall. Oh, of course. I'm sorry. I, I could. Oh. Big sharp. Big sharp. Is that a Texas Goodness. clover leaf or a sharpshooter? Yeah, I could not let the fans see that vibe. Ari's got really long legs, so it's really hard to see how the whether it's the. Uh, oh, is that a heel hook? He's right into a head. heel hook now by Ari Abbott. The semantics of the hold, not as important here as Ari now, doing some significant damage to the legs of Ellis Taylor. Yeah, can we talk to the ring presence of Ellis though? Knowing where those ropes are. Ellis Taylor has claimed to be the most overlooked competitor in professional wrestling. As Ari, with a low bridge on that uh, drop toe hold. Body scissors, getting a roll up, but Taylor rolls right through. Oh! oh! Big belly to back suplex, Ooh. and Ari Abbott is, uh, his eyes are glossed over there, Theo. Oh. Super kick. Good night. Taylor has Ari now in the center of the ring. Happy birthday. A little bit of a final curtain there for Ari Abbott. Two. Oh, wow. But somehow, someway, the grit and determination of this young man. Again, this kid's only 17 years old, Theo. Is he even, is that even legal? In the state of New Jersey, yes. In the state of Pennsylvania, no. Oh, so 17 year olds can wrestle, but we can't have bubbly. Yeah, New Jersey's weird. <sighs> New Jersey. Just had a seven. Oh yeah, but you can wrestle young. We have a referee who's 13. The jersey is not a place I like. Both competitors in this contest trying to figure things out. Taylor, again with that ring awareness, as you mentioned, Theo, yeah. pulling the ropes, using it to pull himself up to his feet. Yeah, you know, we don't give the members of Young Dummy Broke enough credit, I've got to say that. A lot of anguish. Oh, oh super oh, kick attempted wow, by Taylor. In the middle and of the Abbott game. again. Going for that ankle lock, that heel hook. Right in the middle of the ring. Taylor, though, able to reposition again using that length. Waist lock tries for a suplex and rolls through by Ari Abbott. Oh, oh look. Zack Sabre wow. Jr. step over bridge. Only a two count. I am shocked he kicked out of that one. Ari Abbott is doing everything in his power to walk away tonight with a victory. Oh, that'll break a nose. And now Ellis Taylor using some maneuvers. He's impacted himself from Ari in this contest against Ari. Dropped toe hold, holding him, easy for me to say, against That's that uh, middle turnbuckle. Stuff. Step up. Point. Oh, big kick. Two. Only a two count. These are some of Ellis' best moves. Uh-oh. Griffin McCoy. What the heck is Griffin McCoy doing out here? But look. Look what he's We've got a chair away. involved, and now what? Wait, the? Wait, 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 Mr. Turner's here. Oh, now he wants will. to do things. Will admonishing. Really? Oh, oh, come on. Will admonishing Ellis Taylor's attempt to cheat. Big, big arm judo style throw. Wow. And Ellis Taylor tapped. Ari Abbott picks up a humongous upset. Here is your winner by pitfall, Ari Abbott.